good day and welcome to my channel um i trust everyone is fine by the grace of god i remember saying that i was going to post a video concerning um christian dating and just advice one thing i'd like to establish is that the bible did, didn't really say much about dating or courtship apart from what was stated in the old testament and the few scriptures that allude to principles between men and women I'm going to address sex whether it's right to have sex in a relationship whether you should um whether you can kiss and all those issues all the things you've asked me yes i'm going to address them pay the wisdom god has given to me and pay the mistakes i made in past relationships plus other things i've heard from resource personnel from books i love to read from books and all of that um if you didn't know there's a difference between dating and courtship yeah but i believe that dating is a time where one like two parties come together to get to know each other more with their hopes of trying to reach a conscious decision about whether they would like to marry or not or where, about whether they think they are compatible or not and then i think courtship is just like this just that by the time you start courting you should know that this thing is leading into marriage and so it's just more like a preparatory stage towards marriage so without wasting much time let me just tell you what um dating and courtship are according to google okay according to google dating is a stage of romantic relationships in humans whereby two people meet socially with the aim of each assessing the other's suitability as a prospective partner in an intimate relationship or marriage yes so then it's a stage where people meet each other to just assess each other and see whether they are compatible or not and then why am i so excited about this then courtship is the period of development towards an intimate relationship wherein a couple gets to know each other and decide if there will be an engagement so then per what i've understood from my reading and research i believe the process is from when you get to know each other and you realize that you are romantically interested in each other yes the first step is after you get you get to know each other the first step is dating then courtship then engagement then marriage that's what i think it is and, and the first question i like to address is what is dating okay yes yeah, someone asked what is dating according to christian standards um a process where two parties two different christian brethren two christians come together with the aim of getting to know each other for the purposes of marriage just that unlike the worldly relationships in this one god is at the center of it it's a relationship that is um that has a sole purpose of honoring god so it's not necessarily like a brother and a sister um, a christian brother and a christian woman being in a relationship that makes it a christian relationship it is them having the consciousness and agreeing that this relationship is to honor God that makes it a Christian relationship. If I'm a Christian, let's say precious, and I'm with, I'm with Ko, or I'm with, what is their name? Okay, let's say I'm with Yao. And we are both Christians, but our relationship is not to honor God. We are doing it, we are, we are dating and our focus is pleasing each other and trying to make each other comfy without, um, Focusing on what Bible expects from us or what God expects from us through our courtship process and that's not Christian relationship So yes, that's your own relationship <laughs> I just hope I'm not too harsh concerning this Um, the next question one lady asked me was that um, is it right to set boundaries in a relationship? And if so, what sort of boundaries should you set? Um, I think I answered here in part, but I believe that number one is very important to set boundaries in a relationship but i think that before you start dating once you realize that both of you are interested in each other and you like to pursue what you have i think it's important to discuss those boundaries before you even start dating make sure you start you discuss so that you know what and what you can do because what and what the man is willing to do and what and what the woman is willing to do how far they intend to go when it comes to when it comes to everything they are doing yes i believe it's, it's very important to set your boundaries you as the woman should also have your own boundaries before you meet the man it's not when you meet that you now come to choose your boundaries 
have your own boundaries before he comes and then when he comes he should have his own boundaries and then you both look at it and see how you can merge it so that each other is satisfied i'm going to jump because of what we are talking about and move to the the last question about sex because it's in relation to the boundaries um my boyfriend keeps demanding for sex from me should we break up so the question you all want to hear the question you all want to have answers to is it right to sleep with someone to sleep with your boyfriend is it right to have sex in a relationship in a christian relationship it is wrong it's very wrong and i don't think i need to quote the bible for you to know that it's wrong you yourself you know your heart is wrong that's why every time you are done you feel guilty and you start to feel depressed and all sorts of things and that's just conviction you are receiving from the spirit of the lord inside you that's why when you're done you don't feel good it's not a right thing it's different if maybe one time it happened and it was a temptation but if you frequently do that then it's something you have to pay a lot of attention to and you shouldn't be with someone that's not concerned about your sexual purity and that goes both ways whether you're a man or a woman your your significant other or your partner should also be focused on sexual purity what kind of christian relationship is it that there's so much sexual immorality in it i don't i'm not i hope i'm not being judgmental but i'm telling you what the word of god says you understand bible expects the lord expects certain things from us and i believe we can pass our own way and i'll bring it to god if your husband there's there's a difference you know someone can have sex i mean your boyfriend can have sex with you and it was a temptation and maybe both of you just couldn't resist it that one is different I'm talking about the one where you consistently do it. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Not, not the one that maybe you had. It was a temptation, and and I don't don't let them lie to you and make you think that every day was a temptation. If you realize every day it's happening and every time it's happening and always oh, he's telling you it's a temptation, my sister, you better be careful and start to flee because trust me, any relationship that's based on last doesn't really have a future. Eventually, it will end somewhere that you know, like. And if you feel your, if you know your boyfriend has told you point blank, has told you plainly that sis, he can't be with you without sex. I don't know what you want with him as a Christian sister. As a sister Oja, I really don't know what you really want with the man. Because you should be so focused. That's the essence of a Christian relationship is to have somebody that you can work with God. Someone that you can serve God with and attain all what God has destined for you to attain on earth here and advice i'm giving is based i'm looking at it from a christian perspective i'm not looking at it as just a normal relationship if you're in a relationship with a christian where your relationship is set to honor god it's not advisable to be in a relationship with someone where every day you are going against your own um desires to satisfy him and that's these are not just normal desires like let's say he says call me or finna like to talk to you. those things are those are things that you can compromise but sex is not something you should compromise in a christian relationship most of the time from all the stories i've heard as you keep having sex with the men they'll leave you it's normal haven't you realized it i mean if you've tasted something why would you go and pay for it you've already tasted it you've already had your reward another question about if you are a christian can you go on a vacation with your boyfriend or your partner let me tell you what I don't think there's anything wrong these are my views i don't think there's anything wrong going on a vacation with somebody your boyfriend so long as you are not going to stay in the same hotel or same place and so long as you are moving with a group of people if it's just you and him my friend it's better you don't go because one thing will lead to the other and before you realize you're already doing something that you already planned and hoped you never do so I don't think it's advisable. So long, if you are going with, if it's a group of people going, that's fine. You are going to be sharing the room with them. Maybe your sister, sister friends who know each other, blah blah blah. That's fine. But if it's just you and your boyfriend going, it should be a one night trip. You are going and you are coming this night. It's not like you're going there to spend twenty four hours. Cause um, during the day, you can really withstand certain things. You can. Body is not so prone to. Um, it's not so prone to getting naughty but at night it's quite difficult i just i'm i i'm i'm being very honest and very plain about this at night it's not really safe 
it is not safe not really it's not safe at all don't even do it don't why are you going on a vacation i hope this video is not judgmental i just plan on being honest and anyways thank you very much for watching this video i'm about to go out and i just thought uh, why not make this short video before i leave because i promised it to you guys so please like comment and subscribe and let me know what you think if you'd like to see more videos like this please let me know and if you have any question please send me a dm on um, instagram at vibrant underscore faith underscore um, or send me a mail at precious entry 33 at gmail.com precious entry is spelled a n t w i 33 i think I should, i'll leave that somewhere there somewhere in the video somewhere down there so in case of anything you can send me a mail or send me a dm so i love you and god loves you more just make sure if you're in a christian relationship make sure that it's honoring good and so you are ready to be in a relationship that will honor God, do enter one. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And <laughs> please like, comment, and subscribe, fam. And let's just go in the knowledge of the Lord. I'll leave all the Bible verses that um, are necessary and related to Christian dates in the description box below. So. Thank you very much and God bless you. Bye.